Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Sajjo, today we're gonna do a love reading. Let's just talk about you and love, baby. Let's see what's going on, what's been going on, what's coming down the chute. Let's talk about you and your love life, Sajjo. Spirit guides, talk to us. Romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, let's discuss, let's discuss. Let's see if there's someone new, someone coming through, or if you've already met this person. Let's talk about it. And side jet, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. All right, so we start with the Queen of Swords. We've got the Four of Cups, could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, okay. Could be dealing with the Taurus energy. We got the King of Cups, could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We got the Lovers. Well, golly gee, that's a good card to get in a love reading, baby. What else we got here for side jet? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you got yourself an offer here. That's for Shizzle. All right, two more. One more. There it is. There it is. The Fool and the Eight of Cups. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. We have one, two, three people in this reading, and neither one of them are a fire sign. So let's talk about these motherfuckers. Let's see what's going on here, Sajay. So either you got a lot of options and choices. <laughs> Or uh, this is, let's just, let's, well, let's just talk about these people. What is going on? Who's the Queen of Swords? What do we need to know about this energy here? What's the Queen of Swords energy here for Sajay? Three of Pentacles. Hold on, they got a lot of cards to clarify this queen. Got the High Priestess. Oh, the Page of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, I understand who this queen is. And the Page of Swords. Very clear, concise, accurate. This person's been spying on you. So Sajay, this is a no contact. So I do believe there's multiple people in your reading. So we're just going to go one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Queen of Swords is someone that you know from your past here. High Priestess with the Page of Wands. There's no talking to this person. So it's no contact. Could be silence. But they're holding on to you. They want to work on things, communicate. You're going to hear from this person. They've been spying on you, watching you, keeping an eye on you. Maybe they're now getting the vibe or, you know, words in the hood that uh, you're meeting other people or other people are interested in you. So um they're coming here to talk to you to get you back they're coming out of stagnancy here out of silence in order to try and rekindle this nine of cups you their dream come true baby you their wish fulfillment maybe they're trying to manifest you uh but this queen of swords wants you back they want you back -na -na -na. yes they do now they want to be in a relationship with you too not just come back for a good time or a naughty time they're coming back to rekindle a connection to be in a committed relationship with you now let's talk about this king of cups <laughs> who's this king of cups what does this king of cups want with sajay who's this king of cups what do we need to know about this person i think that was the king of cups hold on eight of wands what is that it was the king of cups but he's upside down and the two of cups and the five oh and the emperor so this person is uh thinking a lot about you as well so this king of cups is a little bit overwhelmed here um he's in reverse with the eight of wands he wants to move forward with you but he's worried um he feels this i say he because it's a king could be a woman man don't matter um but the two of cups and the five of swords tells us he feels that you're their soulmate here this person feels a very strong bond very strong connection kindred connection it could be a friend that has feelings for you here with the two of cups and the king of cups but this person's also very worried that you're going to move in a different direction they're thinking a lot about you they see you as the emperor or empress husband wife potential material someone who's independent someone who takes care of business someone who looks good someone who gets a lot of attention they're worried about that so they want to move forward with you uh, but they're a little bit overwhelmed here could be jealous um, they might have jealousy issues for them to be upside down as well um, but they want a fresh start they want a new beginning I got a feeling this king of cups is like some kind of friend or somebody in your life here who's let you know that they have feelings for you but it could not be it just could be someone that you're taking it slow and becoming friends first What's under this king of five of swords? So who's this king of pentacles here? Let's talk about this king of pentacles. Is this re just representing, you know, stability and a connection? Or is this a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy? Who is the king of pentacles here? Uh, nine of wands. The ace of what? The knight of swords. The king of... They're rushing in here for some naughty time. So <laughs> this king of pentacles does not want a relationship... They want some nausea time, maybe casual, maybe FWB. They're here for a good time, not a long time. They're a little bit of the wounded warrior here. There could be a history with this King of Pentacles. It could be just a casual thing, but there's uh, this person's rushing in for some passion. 
So you got someone who wants a connection, you got someone who's jealous, and you got someone who wants some passion. Here's Sag, and there's the Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. So um, there is some kind of ending with this King of Pentacles. You got two past energies here, this Queen of Swords, this, this Air sign, and this Earth sign. So I feel like this Earth sign here was just a casual thing, um, or maybe it was just a one night stands, whatever that energy is, it did end. There's, I don't feel that you're, there's like, it did end, but they're rushing in here because they got some needs that need to be met from the Sagittarius. Um, they want you, they want you bad. <laughs> all three of these people want you, but they all actually have three different intentions. <laughs> so let's see what this page of pentacles is. Cause this is your prospects in love. <laughs> you got a few prospects here. There could be an age difference with some of them. What do you want to say about this page of pentacles energy here? I just feel you got some different options. You have decisions and choices to make here. Chariot could be Cancer, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, and the Page of Wands. You just have a lot of people romancing you here, Sag. So you be getting a lot of attention. What you doing, baby? So the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. I feel like it's a message. First of all, not everybody's on the same page as you. Um, and we see that here. These knights are moving in different directions. So uh, first of all, I feel like it's about getting to know them, talking to them, finding out what their intentions are, finding out if you're compatible, you know, you know, asking the qualifying questions or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, the four of cups says you've withdrawn or you're going to withdraw hill in order to make the decision. So I feel like you're getting courted. You're getting wined and dined here, um, by multiple energies. And the message here is to take it slow to make sure you're making the right choice and you're engaging or entering into a connection with the person who wants the same thing, right? There's a knight of swords. Like if they're rushing in for a good time, but you want a relationship, you have to decide if you want that. But if they want a relationship and you just want a good time, you got to decide, you know, if you want that. So you're trying to decide here, which option is the best option. You're stuck a little bit. The fool represents change, represents a new start, fresh start, new beginning. There is a new cycle here upon you if you want it. Uh, Cause there's three people very clearly here in your reading. Eight of cups, who are you walking away from? Demon, whoa, demon. Oh, the emperor. Really? Hold on. Let's see what else is here. That's this guy here. The well, no, you were presenting as the emperor. Hold on. <laughs> That's how they were seeing you. So hold on a sec. That's you. Hold on a second, Sajay. Yeah, it is you. There's the king of wands. Okay. Oh, well, you're stressed out about who to turn your back on here. You know, you got to walk away from somebody. You know, you got to reject somebody. Yeah, you got to end it. Um, and you're a little stressed out about who to decide that. That's not even English. Who to, uh, you're, you're stressed out about the decision that you have to make. Let's rephrase it. So you're trying to take control. You're trying to be in charge. You're trying to be logical, realistic. You have a decision to make and you're a little bit stressed. You're stressing the fuck out, Sajay. You'd be stressing the fuck out. So yeah, three of cups. You're going to get what you want though. Three of wands. I can't even talk. Three of wands represents getting what you want. Um, but you're not quite there yet. There's a queen of swords. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe you're, what's one more? The devil. Okay. Let me rephrase this. This queen of swords you think is very toxic. Um, I feel like what they're saying here is you don't choose this queen of swords. You're considering walking away from this energy, the past energy here. Um, you consider it toxic and healthy. Um, that might be out of reach there. They might be, emo yeah, the tower and the ace of swords. They want you to be realistic. This person might be emotionally unavailable, which could have been what happened in the past, but this person is the one that's completely in love with you as well, but you don't know how you feel. Yeah. Seven of cups, hey, man. Okay. So we've just established that you have options here, Saj. We've established you have a choice to make. So. Let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot. Spirit guides, what a side J. Need to surrender to when it comes to all these options. One side J. Terry. Yes. <laughs> Success. So you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Okay. And the spirit animal message here for side J. What's the spirit animal message, baby? We got a couple. The elephant resolve. You will overcome any obstacles and transformation. The butterfly. Get ready for a big breakthrough. Maybe big things are changing in your life here for that card to come out. Let's find out. Well, Sag, let's get your. Let me get my cards here. Hold on. Potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there is always free will, baby. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? How you doing? Do you still got these options? Have you made a decision? Have you narrowed it down? What's going on? Talk to us. We're Sajay. There's a the page of pentacles again. Oh, there's the three of cups, baby. We got some dating. We still got dating. All right, what else we got here? Can't see that card, so you're just going to have to hold on a moment while we pull it out. Pull it out here. 
Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Destiny. Divine timing. Karma. The lovers. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. What the fuck? Well, well, well. We're going to discuss this little elephant in the room here. This little Ace of Cups in reverse. We got the Six of Pentacles. We got the Page of Cups. And we got the King of Swords. Oh, okay. You, oh, okay. That just puts a little bit of, um, there's the Five of Cups. Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So, so, so. This Ace of Cups in reverse, very clear. You did reject this Queen of Swords energy here, Sag. Um, you felt that they were... I just... There's just something about this person that you're just not vibing with, whatever the history energy is. Um, they were greeted with the King of Swords. <laughs> it's a no from Sag, dog. Um, maybe you thought they were giving to more than one person. Maybe you just don't trust them. And maybe you just didn't think it was going to be an equal give and take. But you let this person down. The past is there. You're not going to forget it. They can do whatever they want, but it's not going to happen, dog. So I feel now you're down to two. <laughs> and you're still dating them, getting to know this King of Cups here and this King of Pentacles, trying to decide which is the best option for you. It is your destiny. One of these people has a very strong connection to you, Sag. But I feel in a month, you've narrowed it down. But I feel you're just trying to still getting to know them, trying to figure out which is the best option for you, who wants the same thing, who's on the same page, who's compatible. But the Wheel of Fortune's there, which means the luck is spinning in your favor. You're on a new cycle here. You will make the right choice but I don't see you actually making it here in the next month. There's a Knight of Pentacles, so you're just getting to know these people, taking your time. There could be an age difference. We have a Knight and a Page here that have showed up. I'm going to do that for some reason. The Ten of Cups and the Moon. Wow. So you're trying to figure out who's going to be your forever person here, who's going to be happiest for you. Um, you got a decision to make, Sag, and I don't see you making it in a month. It's just, that's what I got. That's what I see. That's what's going down. So, Sagittarius, you have a tough choice to make. I wish you the best of luck. Sounds like two good options because they're both kings here. So, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Sag. I truly do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. So, spirit guys, what's the answer for Sag? Yes or no? Are you ready, baby? You ready? No. That's what I have, Sag. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.